Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Well, hey, good morning. It's Friday, December 1st, 2023. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, presented by Annapolis Subaru and the SPCA of Anne Arundel County. Wow, December 1st already. That does mean that there's only 24 more shopping days until Christmas, six more shopping days until Hanukkah, and 25, well, actually 24 more shopping days until Kwanzaa. I better get on the stick. All right, we do have some news, so let's get right into it, shall we? Don't you hate it when you go to buy something for $75,000 and then you go back and it ends up costing $347,000? Well, that seems to be what Annapolis City Hall is saying. The Capitol followed up on a story that we published more than a year ago about a bicyclist that was injured when his bike tire was caught in an ill-fitting storm drain cover on Chinkapin Round Road. He sued the city for $75,000 and we learned at trial that the city had known about the drains for several years and did nothing about them. The bolts for the fix just rode around in city trucks for years. The cyclist offered to settle, but the Office of Law decided to fight it, and a jury awarded the cyclist $300,000. Whoops. Well, the city's Office of Law decided to appeal that, and in the end, the result was that the lower court verdict was proper and will remain, and the city must also pay lost interest of $47,000. So what likely could have been an out-of-court settlement for probably forty grand will now cost the city $347,000. I think I need to see how much we're paying out for lawsuits. I think it's a lot. I know that there were two for $900,000 involving Hakka and several others are still pending. That might make for an interesting task for me to look into next week. Hey, this is a really cool program from Annapolis Subaru. Each year, Subaru does a Share the Love event where there are four national charities and one local charity selected for the program. When you buy or lease a new Subaru, you select your charity of choice and Subaru of America will donate $250 to that charity. If you select the hometown charity, an Annapolis Subaru will cough up an additional $150 for a total of $400 for each car sold or leased. Now, this year, they selected the Ullman Foundation as their hometown charity, and they offer support to adolescents and young adults diagnosed with cancer. They do great work, and Annapolis Subaru wants to help them out. So if you are in the market for a car, or maybe you're just starting to think about it, head on over to Annapolis Subaru and see if you can help out our local hometown charity by sharing the love. Yesterday, we republished our list of local gifts and experiences for all of your local holiday shopping. And believe me, there is something on there for everybody on your list. And it does keep growing. If you have a suggestion, let me know and we're going to add it and republish it again. Let's all make a pack together. We're going to shop local this season. In October, Arundel Federal Savings Bank, my bank, thank you, hosted a food drive. And now they're hosting a toy drive for kids in need in our community, as well as kids in the hospital. Bring in a new unwrapped toy to any of their five area branches before the 6th of December and know that you will be making a big difference in someone's holiday. All right, that is a wrap on the news. Let's look at some events for you this weekend. And you know with the holidays, the calendar is getting pretty crowded. So I'm going to go in chronological order today. Tonight, get to Maryland Avenue and State Circle for their holiday open house. Lights, music, food, shopping, and merriment from the Maryland Avenue and State Circle Association. And, you know, bring a camera because Maryland Avenue looks especially beautiful. Tomorrow in Crownsville, and I'm not really sure it's Crownsville. It's sort of like a combination between Davidsonville, Gambrels, and Crownsville. So, I don't know. Let's call it the Gam Crown. Anyhow, Wildberry Farm is hosting their Christmas market from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Santa, plenty of gifts, and rumor has it, a beer garden. The address for your GPS, if you don't know where it is, is 1047 St. Stephen's Church Road in Crownsville, or as I like to call it, the Gam Crown. Over in Eastport on Saturday, Nancy Hammond is cutting the ribbon on her new digs at 416 6th Street. Nancy Hammond Additions has a new home, and it is beautiful. I walked past there the other day and peeked in all the windows. Come on out and celebrate her return to Annapolis proper from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. 
sliding into Sunday, prepare to be very bad if you're on a diet. It's the annual chocolate binge festival in that first block of West Street. Cocoa, chocolate dipping stuff, s'mores, chocolate candies, chocolate kisses, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, white chocolate, all sorts of chocolate. The event costs 5 bucks to get in, and you can snag a tasting package for an additional $15. It runs 11 a.m. to about 6 p.m. on Sunday. Yum. And just a few continuing items for you to consider. The Classic Theater of Maryland is running not one, but two shows all month long. A Christmas Carol and White Christmas. The shows will alternate and you can catch one of the 10 shows each week on Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays all through December 24th. And be sure to catch our local business spotlight with Sally on this Saturday to learn a little bit more about Classic Theater of Maryland and all they have going on. And finally, Sandy Point State Park has turned on the magic with the fantastic Lights on the Bay presented by the SPCA of Anne Arundel County. The hours are 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Monday through Thursday and 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Admission is $20 per car, $30 for vans and trolleys, and if you want to bring a bus, that's 50 bucks. But you know what? I snagged some free tickets when we recorded canines and cross treks, so if you'd like one, get in touch with me and we'll make a few of them happen. A lot of choices this weekend. Good luck and have fun. Today on That Canines and Cross Treks, we meet Cinnamon Zoe, which is really a silly name, who nearly was dognapped by me. She is so cute. She's fantastic. She's a purebred Shih Tzu. You want to listen to our spot right now and then check out ionanapolis.net at noon for our irresistible photos and all of the information on how you can adopt her. And again, don't forget that we have that brand spanking new daily newsletter that features only the top local news stories of the day. We send it out to your email inbox at 7 p.m. every single night, 365 days a year, all without a paywall. It's perfect for keeping up with the weekend's news since we do not do a DNB on Saturday or Sunday. And here's a link right here in the show notes. Tomorrow on the Local Business Spotlight, as I mentioned, we're going to be speaking with Sally Boyette, who is the founder of the Classic Theater of Maryland, and she's always fun to chat with. And I guess that's about it. Now it's just time to say thank you for listening and putting up with us every day. I do hope that we add some value to your world. And if we do, please leave a review somewhere or tell a friend to give us a listen. We also want to thank our sponsors, Annapolis Subaru, the SPCA of Anne Arundel County, Solar Energy Services, Hospice of the Chesapeake, and Scout and Molly's. It is Friday. The weekend is here. So now it is time just to say have a great weekend. Be nice to others. Do something fun. And for crying out loud, keep shopping local. Other than that, we're going to see you on Monday. Now hang tight because George Young from DCMDVA Weather is here with the only locally forecast weather report you'll find. And of course, canines and cross tracks. So do hang around for that. All of that's coming your way in just a minute. Advanced illness decisions aren't always easy. Hospice of the Chesapeake, your hometown hospice, wants you to know you do have a choice over who provides care, what type of care, and when and where your loved one receives that care. Learn more at hospicechesapeake.org. Experience the magic of the holiday season at Lights on the Bay, celebrating the 100th anniversary of the SPCA of Anne Arundel County. Bring your family and furry friends to Sandy Point State Park for a two-mile scenic drive featuring more than 60 spectacular displays, including this year's brand new theme, North Pole Adventure. Admission is only $20 per car. Discounts are available through our generous sponsors. All proceeds benefit the SPCA of Anne Arundel County. Lights on the Bay, open nightly from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA weather and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Friday, December 1st. First day of meteorological winter, and it will be a wet one in the p.m. hours with an ongoing chance for some rain this weekend into Monday. Look for clouds today with highs in the 50s with a likelihood of some rain primarily in the p.m. hours lasting into the nighttime and early overnight hours. So be sure to dress accordingly if headed out to the Maryland 4A High School State Football Championship in Annapolis tonight between Wise High School from PG County and the Broadneck Bruins starting at 7.30 p.m. As for the weekend, the expectation is for warm temps and plenty of cloudiness with an ongoing threat for some rain, with most of the rain probably coming 
in the late p.m. hours of Saturday into the morning hours of Sunday, but it technically could rain really at any time each day this weekend. So plan accordingly, but temps will at least be above average with highs in the 60s Saturday and upper 50s to maybe lower 60s or so in spots on Sunday. As for next week, there's a small chance that a little more rain could fall Monday as temps stay in the 50s for highs before skies clear out and temps drop back down to near 50 on Tuesday and then into the 45 to 50 degree range Wednesday and Thursday. Okay, that's it for today and this week. This is George Young of DCMDVA Weather. Make it a great day and weekend out there. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow DCMDVA Weather on Facebook and X for regular updates each day along with the website at dcmdvaweather.info so you can always stay weather informed. Hi, I'm Betsy Abraham. My mom and I own and operate Scout Molly's, this amazing little boutique at the Annapolis Town Center, and we're here to help. Whether you are shopping for the beautiful ladies on your holiday list or for yourself, we have something stunning for every occasion, from casual to black tie. From the parade of lights to New Year's Eve, we have the perfect outfit for every event this year. Scout Molly's, Annapolis Town Center. Thank you for shopping local. That can only mean one thing. We're headed to the SPCA of Anne Arundel County with Annapolis Subaru to play with the pups for this week's Canines and Cross Treks. Sponsored by Annapolis Subaru. Higher standards. Well, we're back here at Canines and Cross Treks, and I guess the burning question is how did the green bean casserole turn out on the eastern shore, Billy? <laughs> it's good. Did you really make it? <laughs> yes. All right. So, yeah, I had help with the green bean casserole. <laughs> And did the cake pops turn out okay too? Yeah, they were great. They were wonderful. Cake pops they were big. always turn out. Yeah, it was They're, good. There is they no. were fun. I think my kitchen still has cake. Cake good. splattered on the ceiling. All over it. Good. Yeah, but I can't take full credit for the. So. the and Kelly, how was your Thanksgiving? It was fabulous, fabulous, and all the dogs. And how, how many dogs were at your table? Um, a whole lot. Yeah, yeah. all of them. Right? All of them were. <laughs> yeah. All of them were having a little bit of turkey. What about yours, John? What'd you do? Yeah, we stayed local. It was really, really cool. Really low key. It was a lot of fun. Um, I did the turkey. I was responsible for it. I got a uh, fresh one from Liberty Delights Farm up in Baltimore County. They brought it to my house and no. very fresh. So it wasn't like frozen or anything like that. Mm-hmm. It was really, really good. Nice. We had a 40 pound turkey. A what? Oh my gosh. How many hours did that take to It to took cook? a while. But apparently like somebody raised, like one of the, one of my, oh uncle, one of my uncle's buddies this is raised the, SPCA. the turkey. This is the yeah. SPCA yeah, yeah, yeah. that we're talking about, raising a turkey. 40 pounds? <laughs> Delicious. You don't like this story, do you, Cinnamon? Well, I'll, t- I'll tell you, this this little thing running around this table is nowhere near 40 pounds. No. no. What is the story with this? Who is this? Okay, so this is Cinnamon Zoe, and she's only 11 months old. How happy is she? I mean, that tail is just going. She's only 11 she's months not old, and she's a... Shih Tzu. Is she, Shih Tzu. Is she purebred Shih Tzu. or is she mixed? Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu. I can never say it now because Billy makes fun of me every time Shih I say it. Shih Tzu. Is that what she is? Okay. So she's 11 months old. So she loves to be with people. So I whoever is looking to adopt, she will be with you everywhere. You need to take her everywhere that you go because she's, she's tiny. She's a very unusual color. She's sort of like a, uh, almost like a golden mm-hmm. yellow lavish. So it's a very so light color. Pretty. Almost like a red cinnamon. Almost. Yeah, like a cinnamon. <laughs> maybe, just yeah. maybe. That's where you yeah. got her name from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's very happy to be here. She really, oh, she is. really is. Yeah. She's happy to be with us here. And is she all ready to go right now? She is ready to go. How long has she been here? Do we know? Mm, about guess, a day. Oh, only a day? <laughs> a whole day? <laughs> Actually, it might be two days. So but it was just fun. She's just really happy and she needs to go home and have some fun you know it's, it's funny that i i do follow your facebook page at the uh Anne Arundel county spca and i love to see all of our uh, past guests on canines and cross tracks yes. going home for the holidays yeah, that is such and a good when feeling. macy went home it was like yes. yes it was uh she was such a great dog and uh so she's That's living her best life right now she really all is and it, what is so great to all the adopters that are out there when you all send us the happy tales it's amazing because this is why we do what we do and we want to know that they're doing great and they're forever home and and it's just it brings such joy to the volunteers and the staff to be able to see them Happy. Well, you guys, you guys are are pretty amazing, and, and it was funny. I was looking at a, um, I'm trying to think where I saw this at, what what news here, but they were talking about, and I know there's always a lot of confusion between the ASPCA and the SPCA here. Correct. Yes. Okay, and I'm going to say that the biggest difference is that Kelly Brown 
who is the CEO <laughs> of the Anne Arundel County SPCA, doesn't come anywhere close to the $1.1 million annual compensation <gasps> that Matt Berkshachter from really? the ASPCA makes every year. Wow. Yeah, Would that be an accurate assumption? Yeah, he makes a whole lot less than I do. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord. But I, I wow, was, what a salary that is. It was like the, to top, the, the top 13 executives <gasps> total $6.2 million just in salary. Oh, my gosh. And oh, do when, you know what that would do for the animals? That's just, just crazy. You know, and, and that's all from their 2022 tax returns. But, you know, I sit there and I look at that and I know that, you know, for every dollar and we're, you know, we're at the end of the whole giant mm-hmm. bag, but for every two dollars that they donate there, the mm-hmm. the, the meager two hundred dollars that I gave the a couple of months ago and certainly with Super Love Pets month going in there, mm-hmm. nine, I don't know what the percentage is, but a whole lot of it yeah. goes right to ninety, probably eighty, ninety percent goes right into absolutely caring for these yeah. dogs. And and that is why we have such you know, if you look at our nine ninety and everything, we're super proud of that, obviously, because the amount of donations that do come in and the percentage that goes to the animals and, and the, our mission is right where everyone should be as a nonprofit. Yeah, and it's really hard. I mean, obviously we you know, we're almost at a two million dollar budget now. Yeah. Between, you know, wow. just for, for everything. And a lot of it is medical and a lot of it is food and a lot of it's prescription food and all just the things that people have to do for their own animal times, you know, 400. So you can imagine it. So the ASPCA is one of the uh, four national national charities that you can choose for the share the love. But that's a uh, that is going to be another reason why. Our customers should choose the Almond Foundation <laughs> when they purchase a vehicle from us. Wow, that is right. Through Super the end of the year. A- I mean, the Almond Foundation, I was actually reading up on them. And I mean, they you know, started with their, I guess, the relative, Almond, who had developed cancer as a young mm-hmm. young adult. And the lack of resources and everything else. And they've just gone on. And they would change their name from like the Almond Cancer or something, something to just the Almond Foundation. Yeah. Uh, they're just doing such great work in, in the community. Yeah. And there's a there's such a need now, unfortunately, because it's up to, I mean, I was reading something earlier today. It's every eight minutes a young adult is diagnosed with cancer. I, <sighs> I did see that it's one of the top, uh, cancers are one of the top killers of, of young adults. Mm-hmm. Um which is just yeah and we have no i mean you know could be the cell phones could be the food could be whatever you know whatever it is but but it's it's increasing at a at a rather alarming rate so it's it's great that there are foundations like the almond foundation that are that are specifically concentrating on this group of people that you know may not have you know the support support yeah as uh the others and it's awesome because it's local just yeah. like our SPCA down here is local right. and helps the local puppies and the local people and everything else is yep. the Ullman Foundation. But and and again, that share the love event that Subaru is doing is uh, just absolutely amazing. When you look, there's four national charities or five, four national charities and one hometown, charity. one that you've chosen. Mm-hmm. And when you purchase a new vehicle at Annapolis Subaru, yep. You'll be given. You'll be given a checklist, I suppose. Yes. It says check off one of these mm-hmm. boxes, and Subaru will donate two hundred and fifty dollars to it, whatever charity that you want to select to, and Annapolis Subaru, as the dealer right here in town, is going to donate another one hundred and fifty to it if it goes to the Ullman Foundation. Yeah. So that's the uh, yeah. So we we're you know we push people towards the hometown charities because. It has a, a much larger impact, and as you can tell, these other you know national charities, they're you know they do great for things that they support, but you know with something like this, it's it's definitely a uh, a bigger benefit for the for the local charity. So it's four hundred dollars a a car that would go towards the Almond Foundation. That's, wow, so it's a pretty that's big, great. It's a pretty big number. Yes, and it, you know it's such a sad and awful time for people, and when you know they're diagnosed and everything just happens so fast, it's yeah. just a blur, and you know nobody has the time to sit there and look for the support and find the support. But when you have wonderful places like that that have the mission to be there for people yeah, and their families, like what do you what do you do? Right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's great to have somebody to be able to talk yeah. to and. You know, they have so many different programs and, and resources for these young adults that uh, that get diagnosed. So, 
And it's so important when you're supporting businesses, when you're supporting charities, when you're supporting anything, nonprofits, uh, to, to keep it local because that's really where our community is mm-hmm. built. Uh, right here they're not built on fifth avenue in new york no. unless you're living in new york i guess right. then maybe more, but, you know. <laughs> guess so, but right. for, for everyone that's listening to this right now no it's not yeah. it's, it starts out locally so you want we don't go. reach new york um we probably do you think we got a new york reach I, 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 I know of at least you one can do it john your daughter in new york yeah we got one that's, <laughs> we got right. One. that's <laughs> right we got one she and her, and her cat you know i was also looking at uh, and I don't know whether this is a big thing in the UK, but a magazine or an organization in the UK, it's called Witch with a question mark, like which one, mm-hmm. ranked Subaru as being the uh, must buy for the Solterra. And it's pretty cool. I mean, I, I can't imagine the UK Solteras are much different than the US ones. No. But it was talking about, it said it's, uh, they like it because it's got assured handling, grippy all wheel drive system, efficient power consumption, safety and equipment levels. And their quote was like, the Solteris design inside and out marks it as something special. It's unusually comfortable, efficient, and very practical for families. And the secure all-wheel drive and excellent safety credentials mean you can drive with peace of mind. Well, I happen to agree with which. Which? Well, it said it was a coveted (laughs) award, so it's got to be. And I read it on the internet, so it has to be true. They must know what they're talking about. They don't lie. (laughs) Yeah, they must know what they're talking about. You know, I mean, Subaru is pretty, I mean, check this picture out. I'll put it in one picture that's not a cute puppy in the notes this week but look at this subaru that wrecked and see what happened it was a 2017 and he was doing their son was doing five or ten miles an hour and was hit pretty much head-on by Ooh. an suv doing 40 miles an hour and he walked out with bruises and scrapes really oh wow the safety is yeah. just these uh yeah amazing i mean it, i don't know what car that is yeah which a, one is it uh, what does it look an, like it's an impreza uh, so those, uh, yeah, I mean, these cars, especially, you know, the Subarus, they are they are built to absorb all of the impact from, you know, any sort of collision. Well, I'm sure and, that you see a lot of that. Yeah. But, I mean, when somebody sees this and looks at this, and, I mean, this is the Impreza, which is the one the of the smallest, smallest yeah. car that you have, and it took a beating. Yeah, and yeah. And to sit there and says he's got some bruises and scrapes. Oh, that's for a amazing. And of yeah. course, that's probably, you know, screwed up a 16 year old going, oh, my gosh, I've only been driving yeah. for a and couple sure, months. Sure, sure. But I did. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But it's, um, uh, yeah, that's why a lot of people drive, you know, drive Subarus. They've had experiences similar to that or they've, you know, had a family member or, you know, saw any of the, you know, the they they lived commercials that Subaru has has done. It's it's uh it's pretty wild. And there's a lot of features that these cars have to prevent stuff like this, but well, sometimes it's not. It's the, yeah. It, if if it comes down to you know driver error on the other driver's part, or you know something happens that the eyesight collision avoidance system can't avoid. Yeah, they're they're meant to absorb all of that energy from these accidents and keep all of it off of off of you. A lot of times, what we'll find is that. Um, the, you know, somebody will be in an accident like that. And the only thing that ends up happening is that they have like, you know, a little bit of burn on their forearms from the airbag, Airbags. you know, like nothing, nothing too crazy at all. That's awesome. If you your last name was Subaru, I mean, real last name, Subaru, not Billy <laughs> Subaru. I mean, you're Billy Subaru here, he in, is Annapolis, here in Annapolis. <laughs> if, if your last name was Subaru and you could like do whatever, I mean, what technology, cause I mean, you guys are known for tech and your safety. Mm-hmm. What would you like to see? I thought, I mean, it's, it's hard to say. I mean, these cars have so many features in them and you want to still feel like you're driving right when you're driving a car. But, uh, but no, I think that all the, the safety features and the adaptive cruise control and the collision avoidance system and the eyesight or the blind spot monitoring. And I mean, it's all, it's pretty awesome. And especially if you're not used to something like that, if you're driving a car, that's a little older. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you get used to it, it is, Phenomenal. I really can't think of much that I would add other than what they have. I'm going to ask that question for you in like a year or two after you find out what Subaru did add. And <laughs> right. like, yeah, that, yeah. That's what I meant. That's what it was. Yeah. That's what it was missing. Yeah, that's like, what, that's man, what I, I didn't meant. even know I wanted that. That's right. But now I need it. Yeah, I need it. Yeah. And I have a compliment because we actually have this wonderful couple that came yesterday and they are now fostering one of our dogs, one of our senior dogs, which I oh, that's so appreciate cool. so much because that dog definitely needed to get out of here and into a home. Um, but they came in a white cross track and they oh, bought it from Annapolis Subaru in August and they had nothing but wonderful good 
good things to say about the dealership. Well, that is lovely. Because I shared my story with them about ordering one. You know, this is and getting old. I mean, all, all, all these kudos that you get from an Apple Super is getting Why old. Why do you guys do such good work? I don't <laughs> what know. is wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> but they were pleased. Absolutely. They said, wonderful experience. And um, I think they had a Forester before the cross track. Okay. Yeah. Um, at our store as well. We never want our customers to feel like we've sold them anything. We want them to feel like we helped them buy something. But nobody and, wants to be sold anything. Mm-hmm. No. Uh, yeah. I mean, you want maybe assistance to help you select what you want. Sure. Yeah. Get information, you know, pros, cons, different things like that. But yeah, we want to make sure that we, you know, help our customers find cars that are going to meet their needs, fit in their budget and, you know, not spend you know, hours upon hours and hours doing it. So right. better, better things to do with our time. That's right. Exactly. I guess yeah. like go to lights on the bay. All right. Go to lights how, on how, the bay. How, how, how's it rolling? Fabulous. This year? It's so great. And everybody's loving the show. And obviously the theme is this year because we've been advertising it's a train station. So it's really some great displays that are very cool. Well, what I, um, while Kelly had her back turned, I went into her top desk drawer and stole a bunch of tickets. <laughs> That's uh, right. No, no, you did? No, no, I didn't. She I want some. Me. I want some. Honestly, she gave me them. But uh, so make sure you just, you know, follow us uh, on here, the podcast, I on Annapolis, all Annapolis, wherever. We're going to be giving away a bunch of tickets to Sea Lights on the Bay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I have one pair for a special lucky winner That's of the, right. the fancy 3D glasses. Nice. So we're actually, uh, December 1st is uh, the night that we are actually tonight. Tonight, yes. It is tonight. tonight. Is it freaking December? God. It's December. Uh, that is tonight. There goes so, the month. Yeah, so if uh, if anybody comes tonight and they bring um, any sort of food donation to the SPCA, you'll get $5 off of your admission. People food or dog food? Dog, dog food. food. Dog food. Animal yeah. food. Yeah. yeah. Food for the animals. And okay. That, and that goes a long way here. So we appreciate Subaru choosing us as their sponsor night. To, yeah. So if uh, anybody comes in and brings something, you get an extra five bucks off. You guys you guys are like such a do-gooding company. They you are. I mean, look at that. Out. You're a sponsor and then they're dedicating their sponsor night to us. I mean, wow. And the car looks fabulous. Every night we got that spot on that car. It's looking good. This is a weird one. I'm blushing. This is like, can we talk more about Billy's the SPCA, blushing, are please? You sure? Can we talk more about the SPCA? <laughs> but how many cars are rolling through? Have any idea? Oh my God, hundreds and hundreds. I mean, this has been probably the busiest first week that we've ever had. So that's really cool because, you know, sometimes it takes a little while for people to get into the swing of it. And Thanksgiving's usually a, a popular night for us, but it's it's been really busy. Well, the little so cold great. snap that we're having right now has to yeah. help too yeah, as well. Yeah, it puts you in that it? spirit. Well, cinnamon may or may not be here if anybody you. wants. I know. <laughs> cinnamon, I mean, Zoe, and John loving. are really bonded. Yeah. How soft is she? Yeah. Oh, she's really soft. She's yeah. like oh, um, so tiny. And I can't believe she's very small, mm-hmm. actually, even for, for a shih tzu. Yeah, she's 11 months. She like, so she's she's not going to get too much bigger. bigger. Yeah. Cat cat like almost. She is. Aren't she a Hidden cat like. guy? But Tommy's got a full Cinnamon coat. Zoe is ready for adoption, That's right. and she is. You can go to the front desk and ask to see her and meet her, and she looks like she would be absolutely fine with a cat mm-hmm. or a dog or little kids, yeah, or big kids or just a solo person. But she does like the attention. Absolutely, she does. <laughs> And she doesn't seem to be like freaked out or Mm-mm. excited about anything. I mean, yeah. you know, like you pick them up and they're like, oh my gosh, yeah. what are we doing? It's, right. She you know, seems very adaptable to. You can play with her paws and she doesn't do anything. She's like, hey, okay. That's cool. John's this is, taking this her is home. John, Look, come on. This, this is, is John John's. falling in love. That's oh, it. We're watching. God. It's happening like in her right paws and she's so soft. Oh, and I got oh, a couple of trips cinnamon. planned. Do your stuff. Yeah. Oh, You're she almost would there, love to, She would love to go with you, John. <laughs> All right, well, let's wrap it up here. <laughs> what do we got to do to get Zoe, Cinnamon Zoe, to go home with That's John it. today? <laughs> oh, man. I'll well, be an old school car salesman right now. There you go. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to check with my manager. And yeah. see what, what if I get the adoption fee waived, huh? You signed <laughs> today? Right. You know Do you know right. anybody that can do that? Like, you have some strings that you can pull on that? Yeah, I think, I think we might be able to work something out. John, we'll give you a few minutes to make a phone call. There you That's go. Right. All right. <laughs> do the right thing. Uh, Go buy a car if you're in the market for a car at Annapolis Subaru on Solomon's Island Road and designate the Ullman Foundation for the local charity support because that's going to be 400 bucks that's going to go right to them, that's going to go right back into our community. Mm -hmm. Uh, If a car is not in your immediate future, and that goes through January 2nd, right? Yep, January 2nd. If a car may not be in your future this month, it certainly should be at some point, then go to Annapolis Subaru, obviously, but go to Lights on the Bay. And yeah. that will support 
the SBCA of Anne Arundel right. County. And you don't need to adopt to do that. You can just go see the cool lights and everything else and bring your pup if you have one. And uh, if you would like cinnamon, Zoe, <laughs> come get her before I do. That's, all <laughs> that's <I'm>, right. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. But uh, AACSPCA.org and AnnapolisSubaru.com. And thank you again for sponsoring tonight's Lights on the Bay. And if you can get out there tonight, bring a some kind of food for the animals and save yourself a little bit of change as you go through the gates. Yeah. All right. Thank you. See you there. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Have you been looking for ways to save money recently? Maybe you should consider solar energy for your home. Or are you waiting for the technology to get cheaper? If so, how long are you going to wait? Today's solar costs less than 20% of what it cost 10 years ago. But while solar prices have declined every year, so have the financial incentives. Bottom line, if you wait for cheaper solar, you're also waiting for lower incentives. Take my home, for example. My solar system was installed in 2010, and it's been paid off for almost five years, and I no longer have to buy any electricity for another 15 to 20 years. If I waited for cheaper solar, I'd still be paying an electric bill. At Solar Energy Services, we have thousands of satisfied customers who are sure glad they didn't wait. So what are you waiting for? Sunshine's a wasted. Call us today for a free solar design at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at Ion Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.